In the second of our video presentations by Revel, Drew Curry, the project manager at the Marketing and Graphic Communication Agency, discusses telling your story and the importance of content in marketing. Drew, who has a degree in communications from Grand Valley State University and has worked with many community organisations including Downtown Muskegon Now, informs us on what marketing content is, what makes great content, why it is important to every brand and tips for telling your story. Sponsored by the Baker College of Muskegon, Adobe User Group and Rotaract Club. We're going to talk about telling your story and why content's important in marketing. And the reason content's important in marketing and especially moving forward is that content is king, no matter which king you subscribe to. <laughs> so we have our brand, but what's next? What do we do with this brand? So Don talk, took us through the process of finding out who we are. So the concepting, the just start with why, all of that is to find out who we are as a company. So now it's time to meet the world. Corey Matthews style. If you guys are too young to get that reference, I'm officially an old man. <laughs> so this begins by developing our look, our messaging, and our calls to action. And these are important because we want those to be consistent throughout all of the materials that we put out there. And remember, content is not just what you say. Content is everything. It's the look. It's the entire package. For example, Barney Stinson can say he's awesome, <laughs> but if he's not wearing a suit and he doesn't look as good as he does, it doesn't work. That, guy, that look doesn't work in sweatpants, even if they're Dolce & Gabbana. So. so content and marketing, I like to call it content and marketing, a love story. Because content is the foundation of marketing. Marketing in its very essence is communicating with the goal of having a sale at the end or having some sort of business outcome at the end. So without communication, without content, without that message, we don't even have marketing. Content's how you tell your story. It's how you introduce your brand to the world because you can do all this great work behind the scenes to build your brand, but if you don't tell the world, you're wasting your time. Content is what you make people feel, learn, see, and or realize. And I put feel and realize on there because sometimes we know what the message is. Sometimes we have it in internalized, but we just need to be reminded of it. And a great example is we've all seen um, those dog shelter commercials where they show the really sad puppy and like cue the Sarah McLachlan song and you just heart melts. I mean, you know, you know all the time that those animals are in danger. You just need to be reminded of that and donate, donate. Animals need your help. guys. <laughs> so the goal of content is to give your target audience great information because if you give people great information, you can hit them anywhere on the buying cycle. So, We'll walk through this with the example of a popsicle. So let's say at decision time, I buy a popsicle. I implement the popsicle, which means I eat it. Over time, I have a deep yearning in my soul because I no longer have this popsicle. And then I realize that I, in fact, need another popsicle. <laughs> I evaluate my popsicle options. Do I go firecracker? Do I do something that'll turn my mouth blue? I don't know. <laughs> After I evaluate, I resolve to get the firecracker popsicle. It's gonna be delicious, I've made my decision. If you're giving good content, you're hitting your, you're hitting your target audience at every single part of the cycle. So no matter where they are, by the time they get back to decision, they're going with you. And it's important to tell your story because in this world of social media and the internet and everything going viral, great stories get shared. Nothing stays a secret if it's worth sharing. And sharing is caring. Also popsicles, that's how I used to pick up chicks. <laughs> And people caring about your brand equals one thing and one thing only. Dalla dalla bills, y'all. Penny power style, and that's what it's all about, America. So what makes great content? I could have spent all of my presentation, all of Don's presentation, all of the next presentation just talking about this one topic, but I'm a nice guy, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just boil it down to 10 simple ingredients for awesome content. Oh, screen check. So the first one, be original. Don't do, don't do what Apple does. Apple does that great, but that's not you. Don't do that. Don't do what Nike does. Be you. The second, focus on creating strong, attention-grabbing headlines. So, for example, I could have just jumped right into this list, but no, I didn't. I got your interest peaked by saying 10 simple ingredients for creating awesome content. And I saw some people shift forward in their chairs, and if I didn't, I'm going to pretend anyway. The third, stay true to your brand. So this is similar to number one, but be who you are. Don't, don't, don't go off the path. You spend all this time to build your brand, so stick to it, because it's you. 
Be accurate in your reporting and sourcing. This is simple. Don't be a liar. No one likes a liar. This is an important one, one of my favorites. Be able to provide answers. Whenever anybody's buying any product or using any service, it's to solve a problem. So you need to be the answer or the solution to that problem. And if you're providing answers, people are going to come back and back and back to solve all of their problems for them. So create engaging and thought-provoking content. It's got to be entertaining. You guys would have stopped listening to me if I just went on <coughs> about creating content. You would tone out, but you have to stay, stay entertaining. So use multiple forms of media. This is along the same line. So we want video, text, photos, anything we can do to be different and keep people interested because attention spans are short. So you got to keep things fresh and you got to keep things moving. Again, keep it short. This ain't Shakespeare. Nobody's interested in your nine page soliloquy except your professor. We, I get a hundred emails a day. I don't have time to read a huge long scrolling page of what you have to say. Keep it short. Tell me what I need to know so I can get in, I can get out and I can choose to go with you or not go with you. Produce as much new content as possible. In the internet age, if you produced it yesterday, it's old today. So the more you can get, the more you can get people coming back to see this new content, the better off you'll be. And finally, always create content with a clear call to action. Always. Always. What do we do? Always, yes. So. Why is telling your story so important? How does this portray itself in the real world of marketing? I'm gonna go through some examples and talk about some big national examples. I figure this is a college presentation, we're all adults here. So we're gonna go talk about one of my favorite hobbies, drinking. Mm. <laughs> so, this is Captain Morgan ad. What can we tell from this Captain Morgan ad? We can tell everything we need to know about Captain Morgan. It's, you know, we don't know it's rum, but that's not important. That's not their story. Their story is that this is a pirate's drink. They have a captain on their label, their slogan, to life, love, and loot. It represents the freedom and the passion and, you know, the plunder uh, that comes along with being a pirate and that whole lifestyle. Everything about them you can tell from that one picture. From this one, we get a completely different story. Um, for this, you know, we have an elegant black and white photo of a ditty with a big diamond in his ear. We have a slender bottle with a foreign name. It says the art of celebration, and art is usually more of an upscale kind of uh, endeavor. And this just tells, you know, this is the kind of one you want to, you want to New Year's Eve at uh, the Ritz or something. This is it's classy. This, on the other hand, <laughs> this is not so classy. This doesn't even have any words in it. This is a great example of how you don't have to use words to tell your story. We can see everything Keith Stone is about right here. You know, that's not the guy you're going to take on a date to a wedding. That's the kind of guy you're going to bust open a 30 rack with and just have the best night of your life in your mom's basement. <laughs> this is my favorite one uh, because I just think this just tells the whole story of like a brand that's so iconic and almost 100 years old. That headline, here's the American spirit. Not only does it define the drink, but it defines everything that that brand is about. And you know, in as few words as possible. So we don't even know what's going on in this back scene. There's a guy back there sort of reaching for it, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is the product, and all that matters is that line. Now, this is my boss. <laughs> He's uh, Andy Majeski. He's our COO. I have to say he puts the L in COO. And he's holding a product uh, from Pacific Floor Care. This is a brand that uh, we actually personally worked on. They make industrial cleaning equipment. And their logo right there, it's tough to see, but uh, that is a gray dolphin jumping over some water with some yellow. It's disgusting. We didn't make this one, so feel free to, oh, gross. <laughs> hey, now, I like the dolphin. <laughs> so, how do we make scrubbers look cool? Floor scrubbers, automatic floor scrubbers, industrial cleaning equipment. It's tough. But here's how. We start with why. We break down who was their target audience. Not you, most of you guys have probably never even heard of this brand because you know, we're not buying industrial floor cleaning equipment every day. But you know who is? Building service contractors. The guy who's gonna come in here after we leave and clean all the floors and make sure everything's tidy for the next day. So we wanted to target them, but you know what? There aren't a lot of, there's not a lot of marketing here. There's not a lot of photos, stock photos out there for that kind of thing. So we started, we took the custom photography, we built a brand new website with a new logo and a new look. We have a strong monochromatic color scheme 
And we have, you know, simple, straightforward language. This Their target audience doesn't have time to fool around with fancy words. Just, I love saving money. Walter and everyone else. And I love replacing batteries, said no one ever. It's simple, you know, it's a little humorous, but it's just that it shows that we get who they are as a brand. This next one, I want to show kind of a web example of how you can tell your story. This is for um, an organization called Thresholds, and they work with adults with developmental disabilities in Grand Rapids area. And they wanted a site that was accessible, it was simple to use, and really could connect emotionally because their target audience was people who you know, people who knew someone with developmental disabilities, somebody in their family, so they were all very relatable. So you can see here we have, this is their homepage when you go. It's a big hero image, a little bit of their story right here, and we've um, modified the scrolling so as soon as you touch it, it scrolls to the next pane, and you can see, you know, smiling faces, attending uh, caregiver, a little more of the story here, and it just, it's big pains, and this is emotional connection with these custom photography and you can just see that these people are living their everyday life and that they're happy because they're working with thresholds. So basically the point of this whole thing is to use, use your words or don't. You don't have to. Communication is all about the receiver of the message, not the sender. So you tell your story however it's gonna best be understood by your target audience. That's pretty key. So let's go through one together. What is that? Lawnmower. Lawnmower. You guys are good at this. What's that? Uh, Weenies on the grill. What's that? Hammock. A banana. <laughs> <laughs> Hammock, yes. Sleeping banana. That is probably a reference that lawn some of the younger people won't get. Yeah, that's, that's a lawn dart through the foot. That's where we're illegal now because of that exact reason. And what is all this build? What kind of story is this all telling? Summer. Summer having a good time. Tells the story of the backyard, right? Summer having a good time. You're out in the sun. You're enjoying everything. This is a uh, beer label we did for Sog Tug Brewing Company. And this whole story we built of, you know, the lawn dart and the guy in the hammock or the banana. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, all of those images were derived from one idea of make the world your backyard. So really, you can pull a story out of anything. It could be the smallest idea and the smallest thing, but if it represents you and it represents what you want to do, you can extrapolate it to create a great narrative to get good content out there. So this is what it all ended up being together and it's delicious. So what have we learned? We've learned what defines content and marketing. We've learned why content is important to every single brand. We've learned tips on how to tell your story most effectively. So now that we have our content, where do we go from here? You know, how do we get the right people to see it when there are literally thousands of avenues, millions of avenues you can go down um, to get your content out there. Do we do Facebook? Do we do the internet? Do we do television? Do we do... There's, the list goes on. So, to do that, we'll find out after the commercial break. <laughs>